Hey, if you're looking for something fun and active to do with your girls, you might want to try pole dancing. Yeah, we visited to Boldly Pole Dance Studio to put our skills to the test. Check it out. I got started in October of 2020, and I didn't get really serious about it until I got a pole in my house in the spring of 2021. I think being in the climbing community, there's a lot of people in the climbing community who also do pole, and I met a couple friends at the gym who told me about it, and I decided to take a class. So put your yep. inside hand on the pole, inside put your feet kind of close to the pole, close mm -hmm. together. Ooh, that feels so good. You end up building up a lot of upper body, a lot of grip strength, a lot of shoulder strength, and then you need core once you start getting into tricks. The sounds too, oh. they make it better. Mm -hmm. I'm always training at home. Like I'll just walk through my house and see it and then I'll decide it's time to start doing some pole. You want to learn a spin? Yeah. So this is probably the easiest spin that we do. It's called a swoop. Switch your feet and step over. I don't know why I'm so scared. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Way to go. Okay. All right, Amy, <laughs> your turn. Most of my students are people who have always been curious but are just terrified to go to a class. And I think that this is like a good intermediate step before you go to a class. There you go. Try to like get your foot in contact with the floor and find your balance and then come out of it gracefully. There you go. <laughs> Way better. In case you didn't know, there's this thing called pole grip. What does it look like? Well, I'm not gonna say what it looks like. You know what it looks like. Oh man, in my head. And then you're just in a cute little sit spin. Woo! That's it exactly. Whoa! A little dizzy. <laughs> a lot dizzy. A lot dizzy. Ooh. You feel sexy? I feel sexy. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Wow. Somebody's had a little experience <laughs> on a pole. <laughs> It is very sexy. It can be super sexy, and that's actually like a really important part of it because it did start with sex workers and strippers who learned this art first and have taught it to us, and we've kind of turned it into pole fitness, but it's always important to like remember that that's where it came from. You're just gonna go up and legs out. Okay, loop me up, Tanya. Get it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> close, close. You really gotta commit to that head back. Yes, I didn't turn my head back. Swung him, fling him over your head. <laughs> Don't be afraid of the pole. Here we go, baby. <laughs> Huge. Kind of a sexy thing to do. Whether you're trying to make it sexy or not, you just you start to feel very sexy. And it, it does, it feels really good. Empowering, I would imagine. It's very empowering. Yeah, because like whatever you thought you felt about yourself, you can change it here. Yeah, and it just starts to come out because it's just kind of a sexy thing to do. A lot of like getting good at pole is getting okay, kind of feeling sensual in your body. And so I try to keep that in mind, but it is also an exercise. It's a hard exercise to do. It is oh very my hard. Gosh, it was fun. It was fun. Hard on the ankles because you kept putting. I kept oh, hitting yeah, my yeah. leg yeah. on the pole. I just kept getting really dizzy. <laughs> I felt really nauseous for a second there. That's Ooh, pole grip is pole really grip good. Was very helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah.